anticipate breaking this thing. I'm excited. <laughs> She's a monster now. Okay. So many people that like have wrapped it, have wrapped and then thrown wheels on their Cybertruck and they're like, oh yeah, first to build it. And it's like, no. No. No, not, not quite. Really. Hey guys, we are here at Sparks Motors. We gave them the Cybertruck less than two weeks ago. Yo, how are, how are you? Are you? Hey, hey, what are we gonna do to this thing? You tell me, so just kinda wanna test it. See yeah. what the capabilities are, see what the height's all about. Okay. Um, obviously tracks is one thing that have the first cyber truck on track to be red. So sick, right? Um, yeah. So if you're good with that, I think what we want to do is pick it up today, hoping to do kind of a video just talking about it, what yep. it is, um, and then it's a follow-up video, putting the tracks on it, then we'll all go up and take it in the snow. Okay, cool, like that. cool, let's do um, it. Any restrictions, things you want us to talk about, don't want us to talk about? We anticipate breaking this thing. Yep. Like like most of my cars, like my Lamborghini Storado, I've ripped off the whole underside of the car already, yeah. like it's just hammered. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not super concerned about this. Like, I think we're gonna break it at some point. Yeah. It is what it is, we'll dude. Let's go have fun with it. Yeah. yeah, okay. It is, like, I think it's like shockingly ugly. It's cool, you know? Like, it's so ugly, it's cool. It's right. like a weird spaceship driving down the road, yeah. like yeah. a DeLorean from the 80s. But it's actually really good to drive. Like, yeah. when you guys get behind the wheel, dude, I like it. Like, it's fun to drive around. Dude, you awesome, could tell they're, they're just pounding these things together. Like, look at the body lines. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're yes. not yes. impressive. One no. thing. <laughs> It's, you see that? Like, Dude, it's, it's built it's like, like a, literally like a barbecue grill. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's skinned like a Father's Day special from Home Depot. Yes. Wild, right? yes. yes. One yeah. thing we were joking about this morning is it'll have tracks on it before the center caps get you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I love that. I, I, don't, I didn't want the truck. I just wanted it to go dick around it. You know, like that's pretty much it. So I'm excited to see what you guys do with it. You know? Well, we appreciate the opportunity, Diesel, man. Of Thank course, you. Bro. Appreciate of that. Course. Get it out before Weston Diesel does. <laughs> <laughs> Yo guys, the Cybertruck is making its maiden voyage over to Sparks Motors. We got Heavy D, we got the boys. Like, this is so fun, dude. This is, uh, yeah. I feel like I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm waiting for you to be like, JK, give me the key. But he's not, he's letting us take it, so. I feel like I just got lifted into a spaceship. Yeah, we're gonna hurry and get out of here before it changes his mind because this is, uh, I'm excited. <laughs> and it has turned into an off-road snow absolute monster. I'm actually just coming to see it for the first time today. We're gonna check it out, and we're gonna probably go do some shakedown runs here this week. I'm excited to see it. I know this is your pride and joy, and <laughs> you know, when you handed it to us, it was like a completed, drivable How are you? vehicle. Yes, yes. However, things have really kind of spiraled out of control since you handed the, I can't say keys, because it's a card, since you handed the card over. Dude, you know my favorite part on this whole thing are the lights. Like Aren't that makes the crazy? truck look, it just, it looks so much better with the lights on it. Well, know? there's so many people that like have wrapped it, have wrapped and then thrown wheels on their cyber truck and they're like, oh yeah, first to build it. And it's like, no. No. No, not, not quite. Really. Not really. <laughs> Upper control arm. So. <clears throat> I mean, uh, it, it looks kind of crappy. It looks crappy. You're yeah. exactly right. So uh, <laughs> that was our first fail point. So. We took it out and literally it was within, min I mean, nobody was even in the vehicle with him yet because he kind of like took it off the trailer, pulled it over and then instantly broke. Like instantly yeah. broke. Um, so that was the first fail point, Yep. Um, which we kind of assumed that was gonna be an issue, but we didn't assume it was gonna happen so quickly. Yeah. Like it was like, like said, instant, instant, instant yeah. destruction. So, yeah. So come wow. in. Look at this. Come in. Done a little bit of re-engineering here. So there's a, an adapter there, brought out a little bit, and then we just had to build this fully wild, stupid spacer. And there's really no other way to do it. Because the last thing we want to do is lift this and dick up everything. And when we're done, everything can go back to stock. Like that's what we've done here. So like all these components can come back out and you can slap all the factory Tesla stuff back in there. So since we've broken all the factory Tesla stuff, how do, how <laughs> do we working, get those We're parts? working on that, we're okay. working on the, So then day two, we went to test. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> front held up great, however, the rear had the issue. It was the rear steer, the bolt just busted. Busted, okay. And so our rear steer was just doing its own thing. So what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna lock it out so there's no gonna be no rear steer okay. for the testing just because there's no sense in it. Yeah, you don't no need point. it, there's right? No point. Yeah. So instead of having more issues, it's get it straight, lock it in place, let it be. Yep. And when we were testing this the second day, 
a gentleman comes running up, and we're just like, oh, this guy's fanning out, whatever. Yeah. And he's got freaking cyber truck on his on his beanie. And we're like, what yeah. the freak? He's like, oh, freak, I've, the whole team's been watching Ron. The whole team's been watching. I'm from cyber, I'm from Tesla. Like, Are you serious? I'm right there, in, yeah, with everybody no else. Yeah, the dude's just a huge fan. He's like, I've been watching the truck since Ron's had it, and all the stupid stuff he's been doing, and all the stupid stuff you guys are doing, like, I love it all. Oh, and like he was insane. like well aware, like the second he saw, it, he's he's on vacation here uh, from California, and he's like, I never in a million years thought I'd see this truck. Yeah, yeah. But he's just like, this is just a weird coincidence. And sure enough, he's like, yeah, I can get you. That brings me back to your original question on the part situation. He's like, parts, we got you figured out and dialed in. Dude, I, the the Tesla team, even through social media, man, we yeah. have posted yeah. on Tesla's main site. Like, yeah. I love that they embrace <laughs> the passion that car owners yeah. have to yeah. like modify and yeah. make their stuff better. Like, I think it's awesome. It's been it's been know? a wild ride. Like, the, it's crazy the response we're getting out of it. So, obviously, that stuff's happened. We made <coughs> fact we made our own bumpers, yep. our own yep. uh, skirts there, just because it's it's you're taking off all the plastic stuff from the Tesla's factory pieces. And there's like components in there we didn't want to mess up. And it was like all tied into one big piece or like, you know what, we'll build our own. That way it's, I mean, it matches. We didn't have to do any coloring. It's just bare yep. metal. Yeah, um, that's it. So that works. Rear bumper, obviously, like the guys killed it. We did them in a day. So they're not like perfect by any means. It's just no, like good, doing yeah. what we were doing for, for uh, testing. I mean, um, all new rear bumper. I mean, you guys could almost produce these and sell them. Yeah, you know what exactly. I mean? Exactly. Like, and that's, that's the thing crazy. is, like, we literally didn't put any time into it at all. And yeah. I don't know how to open this stupid thing. Uh, right. There you go. Yep. All right. So, all your lights are ran off of this system here. So, we didn't want to oh, plug okay. into any, like, the factory wiring and, like, go through all that problems because yep. 48 volt, 12 volt. Not going to match. So, what we did is we just brought in a separate bank. So everything's run off of there, and then we just charge them. The truck, we just plug into the truck. So the truck is just charging those as we're going and driving. Yeah, that's awesome. So it's yeah, like, it's yeah, I didn't solution. have to plug into anything yet. Okay, okay. And that way we were able to be the first ones to have off-road lights. lights on it. <laughs> that's insane. Yeah, Baja yeah. sent those lights out. They saw a picture of this posted, and then they're like, hey, what does it take? And we just said, overnight oh, nice lights, over yeah. nice lights today, and you can have them on the vehicle. That's, that's exactly what they did. I didn't know that. So like <laughs> we gotta we gotta you know promote those guys. Yeah, like yeah. that's such a cool thing. Yeah, they literally Thanks, just Baja design. Yeah. yeah, yeah, just like instantly. And it's like they're expensive lights. Yeah. No, I have I've used Baja on a bunch of my yeah. on my rigs. You know. I don't think we're gonna have issues when we come into testing this next time. I really okay. don't. I think I think we've got all the quirky things worked out. I mean, I don't know what else can fail. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of rebuild we'll everything. <laughs> Even like all of our, our steering right here. Yeah. So we threw Heim joints on there. So now like the front steering can't do what the rear steer did. Yeah. And brake yeah. on this. So like this has been all upgraded. Arms are upgraded. Like it's, she's a monster now. And we just put it back to stock. And then we can put it back to stock. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think I that mean, bracket for the lights turned out super sick too. Oh, the bracket is so, <laughs> it was so basic. Like, we, we ordered those lights and we put them over there like, geez, those are huge. Yeah. Like that rack's <laughs> gotta be huge, but it looks good in like driving and seeing it out in yeah. videos and stuff. Like it looks great. It looks so good. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, she's a monster. Ultimately, do you have a lot more suspension travel? Or I no? don't know what factory was with the, the Cybertruck to begin with, you yeah. know? I know like, <clears throat> it was crazy the first day when you put it in like Baja or whatever and it yes. raises. It lifts it's up. so high. It's pretty high. Yeah, I was yeah, very yeah. impressed with like actually how well it did. Look at this bumper. This whole front bumper is like completely custom. You can see these amazing welds on the front. Baja Design has sent these insane off-road lights that are above the brightness of the sun. This bumper legitimately though, I feel like these guys could like mass produce this and sell just the bumper to uh, Cybertruck owners. Like they're gonna make hundreds of thousands of Cybertrucks. Like right now it's kind of a novelty. It's the first one out. It's, it's you know, I think it's vastly improved from the original, you know, Design was like outlandish and it looks like the Mars lunar rover, you know, but um, I like how tough this looks. What do we you got? Know, you know yeah. the whole like comparisons like you versus the girl she tells you not to worry, or the guy <laughs> she tells you not to worry about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So here's factory Tesla components, right? So this is steering. So this is where all your weight and all your everything's going to. This is 
the Sparks Motors Edition. So slight difference there <laughs> when it comes to steering because the issue was on the rear is like pretty much this point broke, right? Yep. And so you take this, replace it with this heim joint, and you're golden. I mean, that's a massive difference, right? Crazy difference. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's huge. Comparable. So, uh, should have zero problems. Yes. That's awesome. At least that's the plan. Cut to it that's having problems. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cut to us out there in the We should have zero problems. No. This is your original one that was in there. And what happened is that arm broke, so that just collapsed on itself. Yeah. Pinched the bag. And we weren't going to try to re engineer this. It just didn't make sense. Like, you can see this yeah. hole right here. Like, yeah. It's, it's, <clears throat> yeah. So, that's why we went with what we did. Yeah. There's actually a kit out there that is two and a half inch lift kit and a arm delete like we had like we've already done yep they want some stupid it's like amount of ten thousand yeah. dollars yeah and we just we like, looked them up i was like yeah yeah we'll just build one overnight real quick yeah instead. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we did i'm excited man I'm, I'm hopeful i think we're gonna make it happen we uh we talked to some of the guys at tesla because we called them like hey we've got a cyber truck trying to do this we're like is this diesel brothers we're like oh yeah they're like we get so many notifications because i guess the way tesla's got it figured out is if you own a tesla they're getting notifications when like something needs to be fixed or changed. And there is a whole <laughs> book of issues in this thing right now. It's like, you oh. turn it on, it's like, this needs checked, this needs checked, this, and it's, and they're like, yeah, we have a list of things here that it needs us to fix because of the suspension component. So, this, don't worry. But but this tracks project is like, put this truck specifically on the map. You know what 100%. I mean? Like it, like 100%. Like Elon has commented on it. Yeah. Like we've seen yeah. Elon comment on this. It was on the Colbert show, it was on Fox <laughs> News today. Like this truck specifically yeah. is probably the most famous truck in the entire world right now. Is so, the most famous truck. Absolutely. Not probably, and, definitely his. And and like once you guys got this thing on tracks yeah. and we got yeah. it out in the snow and you're pulling tubers behind you, I mean this thing, I'm so excited to go rip around in it. And that's just the testing phases. We still have like the actual like go out and and use it. Hey guys, that build is absolutely insane. The Cybertruck on tracks, the Cybertracks. Man, I'm excited to go take it out for a shakedown run. I think we're gonna head out tomorrow. We're gonna get a big, huge storm here in Utah tonight. So we should have some nice powder tomorrow, but man, it was exciting to see. Stay tuned, thank you guys. We appreciate you guys watching. Hit the subscribe button. We're gonna have a lot more fun.